You know, I've been skating since I was five. I've been, you know, on camera since I was eight. And, you know, I'm so used to being in front of all these in front of all these things, used to people, you know, talking to me and, you know, following what I'm doing that it's not a sudden surprise that all of a sudden I'm, you know, people know me. It, it's not like that. It's, this is my life. This is how it's gradually been going. And, you know, I, I take everything as a blessing. It's a blessing to be where I'm at. And I know I can lose it all in a second. So I just stay happy and give the fans what they want. First real trick I learned was a kickflip when I was seven, which is like the basic, but it's real hard. And you know, trying to get that, the kickflip is a variation of every other trick. So once you get the kickflip, then you start moving on to your other tricks. Ollie is just Ollie. Pop shove it is just one board spin, and the kickflip's the actual rotation. I did 100 a day until I couldn't skate anymore. Favorite trick now, 360 flip. And uh, it's not, you know, it's not hard, it's not, it's not easy, but it's just a visually appealing trick. Jesus Christ, it's definitely one of my main role model. Um, my family, and then, you know, there's a few skaters, but, you know, I just try to keep it. My, my role models are my family, you know, they, I would be nowhere without my family. No, absolutely nowhere. And the fact that they support me, and, you know, my mom quit her job to be my manager, and, you know, now she's, she, it's just great. It's great that they actually believed in me and, and knew it was going to happen. The key pieces from the line right now are still just, uh, we're working on just the outfits and uh, I think we're going to do a few hats and things like that, but uh, just starting out we're going to try to stay away from accessories and really dial in our clothing line and make sure everyone's happy and then we'll start adding things to it. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts by far. Um, there's actually a Letterman's jacket that is insane. It's all black and it has uh, red and white stripes at the bottom with the RS logo. I like the RS font because it seems, you know, it's just, it seems edgy and it seems skateboarding and, you know, I haven't seen it done like that before and it just, it just works so good together. They showed me this, uh, kind of a little bit different and I told them, well, maybe if you add it like that or add the lines and it would change it and they did it and now it's, now it's our RS logo. So it's perfect. I went in my closet, picked out all the clothes I like to wear and grabbed all the different colors and brought them to Wicked Fashions and uh, said, all right guys, here we go. This is what we're going to do. This is how I want the t-shirts to fit. I want the sweatshirts to fit. And this is exactly how the jeans have to fit. Basically, when these kids are buying the product, they're buying a product that I've created and, and uh, I feel really works for, for the skateboard style. The design process is crazy. You know, they, uh, they come up with tons and tons of graphics and show me all these ideas. And, you know, I go through with a pen and X them out if I don't like them and circle them if I do. And, Give them my own input and, you know, the RS and, and the Escape Man logo. I had to work in all of that. Red's definitely my favorite color and uh, it's the only color you'll never ever catch me in is yellow. I dress relaxed, just a nice, relaxed, comfy fit for skating. You know, you don't want your pants too tight or too loose. So I kind of go right in the, the lucky medium right there. And, uh, you know, I wear a large t-shirt, a little bit baggier, but just, you know, it just feels good when you're skating. you got the wind going out your back. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I listen to Little Wayne all day long of a contest, no matter what. I listen to him all day anyways, but uh, yeah, I don't know, just Wayne, Wayne gets me going and then I get on the course and just smile. It's all about smiling. If you see me on a course and I'm not smiling, probably not going to do that good that day. Uh, I got the whole new Rick Ross album, which is amazing. Yacht Club's my favorite song. Um, all the Little Wayne, I just got a I Can't Feel My Face, the new Joel Santana and Wayne mixtape. I love Guns N' Roses. Yeah, The Cure. Uh, Molly Crew, Motorhead, all of it. I, I listen to everything. I weight train. Uh, I ride. Uh, I ride road bicycles. I try to ride at least 20 miles three times a week with my trainer. Um, yeah, I do a lot. You know, I, I I definitely like to keep in shape and you know stay stay healthy and stay fit. Helps me. It just helps me in skateboarding. I have no fear on a skateboard at all. I can't. You can't. You get hurt. I've broken this elbow about six times. I just got full reconstructive elbow surgery on this one 10 weeks ago, so it's, you fall. It's worth it though, it's worth it. I love it. If you are fearless, you should skate. And if you do have fear, you know, you should skate too, but be a little bit careful, go at your own speed until you get comfortable, you know, doing the bigger tricks and bigger obstacles. I was 18 months old, and uh, I don't remember, clearly, but uh, I was on the board just paddling around. I used it as like a surfboard basically. And then I uh, started figuring out how to stand up on it and stood up on it. Started really skating when I was four. Won my first contest at five and then never stopped. I played baseball and I was always like so bummed out when my teammates would do something wrong. And you know, I tried to race go-karts and I would always get in crashes because I was too like just crazy. And 
found a skateboard and it saved my life. You know, it made me really focus all my energy into it and I think it was just a thing that I could do it whenever I wanted to. I could learn at my own pace, get as good as I wanted to and uh, could really learn something for the first time and you know, I was five and I went for it. The most important thing for me is pushing. When you push, um, if the jeans are too tight, it limits your push and you can't get enough speed. And it actually limits a lot of the tricks. So what we've done with the jeans for uh, the RS line is made them stretchy because uh, that's the way to do it in skateboarding. You got to make the stretchy jeans so you can push and have, you know, have room to move and actually fall because that's a big part of skateboarding too is falling. So, you know, you want to be, be able to make sure you can get out of it. So, you know, we design great clothes that you can actually destroy and it's not hurting your bank. Preparing for a competition is, uh, is mellow for me. I normally don't skate uh, for about a week up to a contest because when I get off my skateboard and then I get back on, I skate way better and just so focused. So I'll take a good week off before a contest and just, you know, relax, go to the beach, go surf, make sure my cardio's up and then get to a contest and go for it. I'm normally really relaxed though. Like, I used to be real nervous and uh, I'd get real bad butterflies and now I don't, I don't get them. I just stay relaxed and I know all the friends that are there so it's... That's a, it's a mellow life. I won the Dew Tour three years back to back, which was, you know, I think I'm the second athlete to do that, which is cool. Um, and uh, my two X Games gold medals. Those are my, you know, my biggest accomplishments for sure. My style in skateboarding, I think, is just, uh, I try to make it fluid. Just fluid, everything works real nice, everything goes together real nice. Uh, try to stay away from the sloppy style and just have fun. Don't worry about getting noticed. Don't worry about it. You will get noticed. If you're, if you're having fun and you're doing good, that's all that counts. You know, you don't got to worry about the sponsor me tape or going out and trying to get all these sponsors. It's not like that. Just, I didn't do that. I had fun with it, skated my heart out, and I got sponsored, and I'm here today.